2009. In this video, I'm going to show y'all how do you how to properly hold a gun with one hand. All right, now, as being a black man, you know, we have this, there, there's this, uh, there's this bag misconception when you see all these gangster movies, all these crime movies, and you see black folks, gangsters shooting their guns like this. Okay, can y'all see that? Shooting like this. This is how they shoot the gun. And this gun is unloaded, by the way. They shoot holding sideways. That is not how you hold a gun. Um, you don't hold a gun with one hand like this. This is only for the fucking movies, okay? Gives us a bad name. As if, you know, kind of gives this misperception that black people can't shoot guns and stuff like that, you know. But that is not how you shoot a gun with one hand. You don't hold it with one hand like this. And you don't shoot it like this. Definitely don't. This is pointless. Because when you're shooting it like this. The gun. It's. It's it's say you're aiming at something. It's. If you're aiming. Uh, damn. I don't have anything to aim at. But let's just say. Uh, I'm aiming at. This. This green dot or something like that. When, if, if. I'm shooting like this. And I'm not looking through my sights correctly. It's just jumping all over the place. It's going left. And it's not it's not stable. You know, can you imagine you're doing this? And a lot of guns, if you're shooting it this way, um, certain firearms will jam like that. You know, because this is not the proper way to fire it. It's supposed to be like this. And they designed it to shoot this way. Okay? They didn't design it to shoot it like this. It was designed to shoot this way upright <laughs> okay and as i said when you're shooting it this way it's very inaccurate you're going to be shooting all over the place you don't have much control over the gun so the proper way at least the, the way i was taught is to shoot it like this and even like this this is not even a proper way to shoot a gun with one hand because it's you can't really control the recoil is good like this is that's one of the reasons why too so <clears throat> the proper way would be to cant it slightly and also if you're shooting it this way and it's straight there's no control it's shooting your the gun can jump to the left to the right your thumb is like an equalizer it kind of stabilizes the gun so not like this and also slightly like this you get very good accurate shots off when you hold it slightly canted to the left okay well i'm a righty okay so i believe if you're a lefty you're gonna cant it to the left to the right so i'm a righty so i would cant mines this way and you make sure your thumb is right here when you're shooting and you get you know you get very good accurate shots this way you know, if it's, and you can handle the recoil better when your thumb is here and you, you grip that shit like your life depended on it. And you keep your thumb there while it's canted slightly. You can handle it better. If it, if it was shooting, it would kind of be just like this. And if it's like this, you can also you can also hurt right here too. If you're shooting a gun, especially one with a lot of recoil, and you're shooting it like this, you you're you can hurt your wrist. That's why when you have it like this, it kind of reduces that. And if you shoot it like this without your thumb supporting it, you definitely is flailing. And if you're rapid fire and it's doing all of this, see, this is what it will do. And if, if you were firing it, it'll be jumping and it, it will give you more recoil. You can't control the recoil as much because there's nothing stabilizing it. It's, it's rocking all over the place when you got your thumb here. You are in control. And you can control it better. Okay. So please don't shoot the gun. I mean, this this seems like it's all fun and games and stuff like that, but in real life situations, this will get you killed. This is Rebel Shooter, Rebel 9. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch y'all later on the next one. And I'm off this.